close your eyes and try to stay right here. Stay with the breath coming in, going out. And John Lee gives the image of a post by the ocean. The water rises, but the post doesn't rise. The water goes out, but the post doesn't go out with it. You stay right here. This is going to go against a lot of the mind's habits. The mind is basically a wanderer. It goes here, it goes there, looking for happiness here, happiness there. But when you look for happiness in things like sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, those things are changing all the time. The Buddha says they change so quickly that as you try to grab hold of them, they've already changed. To say nothing of what will happen afterwards. If you want to find a real happiness, you have to look inside, because there's the potential for something really solid, something really secure, something that doesn't depend on conditions inside the mind, which means you have to get to know the mind and sort out all the issues in the mind, which is one of the reasons why we tend to wonder. We don't like looking into our own minds. We don't like what we see often. But you need to give the mind a place where it can stay so it can look at things and not be blown away by them. That's where you try to stay with the breath, make the breath comfortable. So that when waves of greed or waves of anger or waves of whatever wash over the mind, you don't get washed away. You stay right there, right at the edge of the ocean. The water rises, you stay right here. The water falls away, you stay right here. The more solidly rooted you can stay right here, then the better. And the more continually that you stay here, the more you're going to see. 